Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another Mortal Kombat 12 video. And today, what I got for you guys here is going to be my top 10 list of characters that I think need to be in the next Mortal Kombat game that we pretty much know is coming from Netherrealm Studios. Honestly, whether the next official game is MK12 or not, we know that a Mortal Kombat 12 is coming. It's the same reason I did a top 10 for Injustice 3. Before we jump into everything, though, if you're looking forward to it, if you cannot wait to see more from the Mortal Kombat franchise, if you're looking forward to Injustice, general what the next netherrealm game is going to be we know that the reveal is coming in 2023 well then scroll down right now hit that thumbs up button share your excitement with me and let's get this video here to 1500 likes for the mk12 hype also happy holidays everybody i hope you've all been enjoying the time with your family and friends all your loved ones it's been an amazing year but as we go into 2023 i am so excited for the things that we're going to be doing and the games that we're going to be covering thank you all so much for the support thank you to all the people that helped me with this channel especially to elgato for all the incredible products that they provide to this channel it's been such an amazing year like i said and i couldn't be more thankful for all the people that support me so thank you and with that being said let's jump into this so as you might know with previous videos that i've made going over top 10 lists usually what i like to do is start off with my honorable mentions and today is no different first up in the honorable mentions i have motaro i actually just recently got a figure for this character from storm collectibles and this is a character that we haven't seen do anything in the mortal kombat franchise in a very long time mainly because it's pretty hard to get this character to work in a Mortal Kombat game, considering how huge he is. And then also on my honorable mentions list, I have Kintaro. Like I said, you're gonna see a lot of the boss characters popping up, and Kintaro is pretty cool, man. His design alone is so sick. We saw a little cameo from Kintaro in one of Shang Tsung's fatalities in MK11, and now I think it's time to get him back as a fully playable character in MK12. Besides that, my honorable mentions list can pretty much include any of the MK ninjas that you could think of, because to be honest, some of them are pretty obvious for characters that I think we all expect will be showing up in Mortal Kombat 12. I tried to put together this list of 10 characters that I hope return because there's a chance that they might not, and they're characters for the most part that come from the 3D era, with a couple of exceptions. And besides all that, this is just going to be my opinion, and you're totally allowed to disagree with it. In fact, I encourage it. By the end of this video, I want to see in the comments below what your top 10 list is. I also wanted to mention I did something pretty fun for this video for the top 10. I created, using an AI image generator, an updated look of what all of these characters could potentially look like in Mortal Kombat 12. So let's jump in now into the top 10. And at number 10, I have Natara. Now she's a vampire bat. Do I even need to say anything else? In all seriousness though, I know a lot of people are gonna recognize this character specifically from the Mortal Kombat movie where to be honest, I think she deserves justice after the way she was treated in that movie although she ended up getting the coolest fatality. And yeah, she comes from the 3D era and is a pretty sweet character in all honesty from design and concept. And the gameplay for her could be incredible in Mortal Kombat 12, just in an updated NRS fighter. And for the AI image generation, you can see here that it looks pretty sweet. In all honesty, I'm very happy with the way that a lot of these turned out. Mid Journey is fantastic. I love the blood splatter there across the face. You can see the wings in the background there and she's wearing Wearing kind of a crown as well which I don't know why it ended up making that I was trying to put headband as that's what the character has in the original design but it ended up giving me that crown looking thing instead and I think that's great I think there's a perfect design choice moving on though now at number nine I have Ashra I'd really just love to see an updated design for this character and she could honestly have a very interesting moveset now her powers have some similarity to Raiden's and some people might even say that her design could be similar as well but let's be honest Netherrealm here is not void of creativity they can do some really fun stuff with this character and then when they bring her back we got another awesome 3d era character brought back into a modern mk game and then as for the ai image generator well mid journey did a bang up job with this as well and almost got the fingers correct this is the one thing that ai image generators just cannot do well but this time it almost got it but in general the design here looks fantastic Aztec. And to be honest, this is how I hope we see Asher return in Mortal Kombat 12 design wise. She looks so sick. Then at number eight, we have Hotaru. Now, this is a 
totally underrated 3D era character that I think not enough people talk about. He's got such an awesome design, and I love that his armor is kind of insect inspired. I mean, Hotaru in Japanese literally translates to Firefly in English, so it makes sense. I think as well, narratively speaking, he can play such an interesting role. I mean, in the story, he comes from the realm of order, so he's a character that plays fairly neutral. He's not leaning one side or the other. Plus, his whole samurai aesthetic, it's just sick, man. It's just so cool. The customization here, I would go crazy for it, so I'm hoping that this character returns just on that alone, honestly. And as for the AI image generator, well, this one was pretty tough, actually. I had to re-roll this multiple times. I had to get very specific with it, and honestly, I still couldn't get one design that I was fully happy with, mainly because I couldn't end up getting the banners in the back to work or pop up properly, but this is the one that I was the most happy with, and you can also see some alternate designs here that ended up showing up that had just the banners in the back as like a logo, because I kept trying to put banners in the back or banners on the back, and that wasn't working for the prompt. So unfortunately, I couldn't get this one to be perfect, but nevertheless, the design still looks sweet. And number seven, I have Serena, another 3D era character. I know you must be blown away. But honestly, I have seen Serena kind of creep up on everyone's list. She had a brief little stint in the 3D era, and then she also had a very brief cameo in Mortal Kombat X. And when everybody saw her pop up in that game, I saw a lot of people crying out for her to end up being playable. I think there's even Twitter accounts that say to make Serena playable. So honestly, this is a character that has kind of become a secret little fan favorite. And there's also some fun to be had there with the customization if there's going to be, like I said, a gear system in Mortal Kombat 12. The AI image generator had a very tough time with this one. I had to keep re-rolling once again just to get that little white streak of hair, but unfortunately, I still never got it perfect. This is the one that I ended up liking the most and I honestly think it did turn out pretty sweet. It's just the eye makeup, whatever she's got going on in MKX or just in the 3D era games that she popped up in, it didn't end up really working, but there's still something pretty crazy going on there around the eyes that I do think looks sweet. Then at number six, I have Smoke. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna be surprised that I have the character this low on the list, but I'll be honest, as I mentioned right before we jumped into the top 10, there's a lot of characters that we all pretty much know are gonna be in the next game. And Smoke for me is one of them. But Smoke popped up on my list primarily because there's a couple of caveats that I have in regards to how I want Smoke to appear in Mortal Kombat 12 if he were to show up, which I do think is very likely, more likely than anybody else on this list. Mainly because if Smoke ends up showing up in Mortal Kombat 12, I want it to be him as a ninja, as an MK ninja and not as a cyber ninja. Don't get me wrong, the Cyber Lin Kuei is so dope. Cyrax, Sector, they're all sick and they would totally be on this list if I didn't feel super confident that they were gonna show up in the next game. But I really want to see Smoke as an MK Ninja again. And the AI image generator went crazy mode on this one. There are several designs that I wanna show you here. This is the one though that I really loved the most. I love that the way the fingers are kind of turning into Smoke because I typed in smoke powers, so it finally understood what I was trying to work with. The hair also looks fantastic as well. The glowing eyes, everything about it. I am so happy with, but there are several other designs that the AI image generator made that are also great and that would also look incredible if they were to be the design of the character in MK12. And at number five, I have Takeda. And I know Takeda was only just introduced in Mortal Kombat X and he really only missed out on just one game with MK11. Again, a character that I think has a good chance to come back in Mortal Kombat 12. But man, it was a missed opportunity to not bring him back in MK11. Although it could have worked out for the best as this character excels the most in the fast paced style that Mortal Kombat X has. I know a lot of people didn't end up liking the combat kids as they've dubbed them from Mortal Kombat X. You know, they weren't the biggest fan of the new characters that were introduced in that game, but we can all agree that Takeda is probably the coolest out of all the newly introduced characters. Now, unfortunately, 
Luckily, the AI image generator had a really tough time at not just making Scorpion. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a full on design that I think I was happy with, but I did get some pretty sweet looks that could definitely work in terms of customization or alternate suits for the character. And it makes sense considering that he was an apprentice of Scorpion to kind of look like he's taking inspiration from how Scorpion took on his design. Then coming in at number four, I have Blaze. I've already mentioned at the top of the video that there's going to be some characters on this list that are boss characters blaze is no exception to that and blaze for me was one of my favorite characters growing up with the mortal kombat franchise i remember seeing that trailer for mortal kombat armageddon having all the characters in the history of mortal kombat just going to battle and then at the very end of it seeing blaze and being like oh my god this is going to be the next big massive threat in the mortal kombat franchise i can't wait to see more from this character and that was like the only game that he ever ended up showing up in. there's just something so fun about having the ability to put your hands with the controller and play as the seemingly unbeatable forces of nature that come from the mortal kombat bosses so blaze would be so sick to add to the roster what i like as well about blaze though is that he's not just another character that's completely on fire and that's it he's got these kind of pieces of a volcano attached to him and so that's something that i really wanted to lean into when i was using the ai image generator i tried to put in prompts like man made of volcanic ash man covered in volcano and things like that and it ended up giving me some really cool ideas at first it was just another mortal kombat ninja which i would be totally happy with but then i added prompts in there that he was extremely muscular and very massive and i think i got what would totally be a modernized look at blaze this is probably the most happy i was with the ai image generator and it is for me how i would expect this character to look in mortal kombat 12 this design kicks ass you can just see the lava flowing inside of him there pieces of it rippling through kind of his skin it's so sick and then he's got the mortal kombat mask pretty much just like an mk ninja would everything about this design is fantastic and if anybody at nether realm's watching J just take use this okay winding down now into the top three and in that third spot taking the bronze medal i have none other than havoc i've been requesting this character for a very long time to be honest if you remember back when i did my combat pack two wish list video havoc was on that list he is somebody that i would still love to see come back to the mortal kombat franchise just off of his design and as well his moveset i mean he's literally throwing his limbs and contorting his body in all weird and disgusting ways at you it's it's crazy i'm honestly really surprised that havoc hadn't returned to the mortal kombat franchise sooner but you know time's up okay nether realm get this character in there let's respect the 3d era a little more because havoc was a good idea and there's a ton of great ideas as per this whole list that they had from the 3d era that would totally work in a modernized mortal kombat game and now the ai image generator kind of struggled here okay at first i got i think ermac at one point and then for the most part besides that i was just getting somebody with a skull that kind of looked like a pirate i mean it looked like something that came straight out of the pirates of the caribbean franchise to be honest with you but then i finally got one design that i was pretty happy with although it made havoc hot which it kind of defeats the purpose of of what's going on with havoc but i think it works you know he's got the skull for the face there the glowing blue eyes and looks like a straight up mk ninja with some pretty sweet armor so this is another design that i was happy with but i wasn't over the moon about like i was with blaze and now finally the top two these i flipped around quite a bit and i was honestly going to put this character at number one at one point but when i thought about it my number one choice really deserved that ultimate spot but at number two, I have Chameleon, whether it's the female version or the male version, whatever you'd like. I'll be honest, and I tried to make this list reflect that I really want Mortal Kombat 12 to put aside the special forces stuff and really hone in and focus on the mortal kombat ninjas because that was what made mortal kombat cool in the first place again some of them aren't on this list due to the likelihood of them popping up in mortal kombat 12 i didn't want to put them on this list because they would just be taking up a slot for a character that i think we need to talk about a character that not enough people talk about but chameleon could really act as a vessel similar to triborg where if there's some mortal kombat ninjas 
that don't make the cut. If there's a Mortal Kombat ninja you really wanted but didn't end up being in the game, she could be the character, or he could be the character, depending on which version of Chameleon they use, that acts as a character that utilizes movesets from several Mortal Kombat ninjas. And you know what? If my idea doesn't end up being something that people want, well, that's fine. I hope that Netherrealm still brings this character back and adds a unique moveset for the character, and then boom, we got another sick-ass Mortal Kombat ninja added to the roster. And the AI image generator had a bit of a tough time with this one as well, but I ended up getting two designs that I was really happy with for both the male version of Chameleon and the female version of Chameleon. Chameleon. The female version I had to edit just a little bit to kind of give the effect of the translucent skin and then I also edited in the white eyes there but I think that design there looks sick looks very alien like which I kind of dig I like the armor as well and the gold accents in there are fantastic and then for the male version I kind of got it on the first try and I was really happy with this design he looks incredible there and that is a design I'd be very happy with if it were to pop up in Mortal Kombat 12. The glowing green eyes too, such a nice touch. Overall, the male version really works for me and I like the female version a lot as well. I just had to tinker with it a little bit to get it the way that I want it. And finally, at the number one spot, as I mentioned, it's a theme for this top 10, for this entire video, I have the Dragon King, the mother of all Mortal Kombat bosses, the most powerful of them all, Onaga. Could Onaga be one of the most powerful characters, narratively speaking? Could he be a bit too OP? Could he be one of the most powerful characters in Mortal Kombat history? M maybe, okay, but it doesn't matter. They can do whatever they want here. Now, after MK11 Aftermath, we are starting from scratch. So if they wanted, they can make the entire roster of Mortal Kombat 12 more powerful than they've ever been, or they can make Onaga just a little less powerful so that he can match up against some of the other combatants. He just deserves to be a playable character. He's the Dragon King, man. He's a literal giant dragon dude. Do you not want that to be a playable character in a Mortal Kombat game? He's got probably the most unique moveset out of anybody on this list, and there's so many different directions that they can go with with this character in the story. I mean, if he's going to be the next main villain, that would be awesome. I would really love to see Onaga just come back in some way in Mortal Kombat 12 and the AI image generator kind of went crazy with this character as well at first was doing its own thing and wasn't really doing anything that looks sort of like Onaga actually looks like it was just making a dragon humanoid looking thing Which, don't get me wrong it's sweet as hell but it looks more so like it's coming out of Game of Thrones than it does out of Mortal Kombat so I added into the prompt an actual image of Onaga from Mortal Kombat and I got what is definitely a really good design and what I could totally see an updated MK12 Onaga. He looks menacing as hell. The horns are perfect. And I love that his mouth looks like a literal Oni mask. Everything about this is a perfect design. Honestly, the AI image generator did a bang up job with this one and with Blaze, which makes sense. It's fitting that the MK bosses got the best treatment out of the AI image generator. And there you have it. That is my list of the 10 characters that I want to see in Mortal Kombat 12 the most. As I said, though, this is just my list. This is just my opinion. And you're welcome to disagree. I want you guys to sound off in the comments section below with your top 10 list. What characters do you want to see the most in Mortal Kombat 12? If you like what the AI image generator did for these Mortal Kombat characters, well then hit that thumbs up button. It would show your support and I would really appreciate it. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Those links are going to be in the description. Drop a like if you enjoyed, leave a comment if you have an opinion and subscribe if you're new. See you guys later.